To carry out the hinge, you're going to stand in a split stance. Knees nice and soft. It's the front leg that's actually going to carry out the hinge. That back one, you're activating the big toe and trying to maintain good foot position so the foot's not dropping inside or out. So during pregnancy, you would have felt that that hinge action actually became a lot harder. As our pelvis changes, we start to walk slightly different and you start to see a bit more rotation through the pelvis. The reason I like to start with a single leg hinge is that if we do have imbalances between the left and the right side, then doing a double leg hinge, we might compensate a little bit with one side more than the other. With a single leg, it's a great way to actually just make sure we're trying to target each side one at a time. And it is more functional anyway, because when we do walk, carry out our day-to-day -day tasks, we're usually on one leg anyway, as we take one step forward in front of the other. If you want to watch another pregnant athlete exercise that's more strength-based, click on this video. If you want to watch an exercise that's more mobility or activation based, click on this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest information, exercises and podcasts from Pregnant Athlete.